This is a brief story of Fernando Diaz Rivera. Two Camden suspects, Javier Rosa Romera, 31, and Juan Carlos Moreno Barrero, 20, also have homes in Salinas. Also indicted were Karina Almeida Burgos, 22, of Salem, and Francisco Vinicio Savignan Paulino, 30, of New York City. Two alleged ring members, Alexis Burgos, 38, of Mount Holly and Marcos Mendoza, 20, of Camden, pleaded guilty last year to conspiracy charges, the Attorney General's office said. Diaz Rivera was charged with leading a narcotics trafficking network, a first-degree crime that carries a sentence of 25 years to life in prison without parole. The ring allegedly distributed 20 to 30 kilos of heroin and cocaine per month in Camden and North Philadelphia, and in recent months Diaz Rivera allegedly ran the ring from Puerto Rico, giving orders to other top members. The ring has suspected ties to Mexican drug suppliers and used weapons and threats of violence to conduct its business, authorities said. More than 6 kilograms of heroin and about 9 kilograms of cocaine were seized during the investigation. They had a wholesale value of $600,000 and $2 million or more once cut and packaged for sale on the street, according to the Attorney General's office. According to Hoffman, the 47 people, including three brothers who allegedly ran the ring, were charged with first-degree racketeering. 34 suspects have been arrested so far. Warrants have been issued for the remaining suspects. Two of the alleged leaders of the network, Omar Urbina, 39, of Philadelphia, and his brother, Edwin Urbina, 33, of Pensacon, were included among those arrested. In addition to racketeering, they are charged with leading a narcotics trafficking network, a first-degree crime that mandates a sentence of 25 years to life in prison. Their brother, 34-year-old Edward Urbina, of Camden, who also allegedly headed the ring, is being sought as a fugitive on a racketeering charge. The Urbina brothers allegedly relied on multiple suppliers who obtained heroin and cocaine from the Mexican drug cartels. Officials say the brothers helmed a highly organized network that sold hundreds of thousands of dollars a month in those two drugs in the area of 4th and York Streets in Camden's northern section. The Urbinas allegedly relied on multiple suppliers, including two of the indicted suspects from Camden's Luis Chucho Madero, 34, and Alicia Marin Vialiais, 28, were found with 10 kilograms of suspected cocaine and heroin in a vehicle stopped in the city by detectives during the early morning hours of October 2, 2016. The arrests were made as part of Operation Inferno, which targeted the ring's suspected leader, Fernando Diaz Rivera, 33, also known as Gordo, who has addresses in Salem City and Puerto Rico, according to the Attorney General's office. Diaz Rivera allegedly has been one of the biggest wholesale cocaine and heroin suppliers in Camden and Philadelphia for years, according to the office. Forty-one members of a violent gang charged with drug trafficking and firearms violations in San Juan, Puerto Rico. San Juan, Puerto Rico, on May 17, 2022, a federal grand jury in the District of Puerto Rico returned an indictment charging 41 violent gang members from the municipality of San Juan with conspiracy to possess with intent to distribute, possession and distribution of controlled substances and firearms violations, announced W. Stephen Muldrow, United States Attorney for the District of Puerto Rico. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, and the Rico Police Bureau, PRPB, San Juan and Carolina Strike Forces were in charge of the investigation of the case, with the collaboration of the United States Marshal Service, the Drug Enforcement Administration, DEA, and Immigration and Customs Enforcement Homeland Security Investigations. It's important to highlight that during today's operation, we arrested various drug trafficking leaders in Puerto Rico, said Joseph Gonzalez, special agent in charge of the FBI, San Juan Field Office. We know this doesn't mean our work is done, and what I want Tom to make clear is that we won't stop. The indictment alleges that from 2016 to the date of the return of the indictment, the drug trafficking organization distributed heroin, cocaine base, commonly known as crack, cocaine, marijuana, oxycodone, percocet, alprazolam, 
Xanax, and buprenorphine, suboxone, within 1,000 feet of the Vista Hermosa, Villa España, and Luis Lorenz public housing projects, and other areas nearby. The object of the conspiracy was to operate a drug trafficking organization to distribute controlled substances in many areas in the municipality of San Juan and to ship narcotics to the continental United States for significant financial profit. So far, officials in New Jersey say they've charged nearly 50 people involved in a violent narcotics distribution network with ties to the Mexican cartels. Alexis Burgos, 37, who is also known as Papote, was charged with first-degree racketeering for his alleged role in the operation, according to authorities. If convicted, Burgos faces 10 to 20 years in prison and a fine of up to $200,000. If found guilty, he would have to serve 85% of his sentence without the chance for parole. The defendants acted in different roles in order to further the goals of their organization, to wit, leaders slash suppliers, enforcers, runners, sellers, lookouts, and facilitators. The members of the gang used force, violence, and intimidation to maintain control of the areas in which they operated. They held meetings to discuss the operations of the drug trafficking organization and to plan violent acts against members of their own gang or members of a rival gang. Twenty-six defendants are facing one charge of possession of firearms in furtherance of a drug trafficking crime. As part of the conspiracy, the co-conspirators used abandoned apartments in the public housing projects to prepare the drugs for distribution at the drug points. They would also rent different properties or locations using home rental applications like Airbnb in order to use them as stash places to store kilogram quantities of heroin, cocaine, crack, marijuana, U.S. currency, firearms, and ammunition in order to avoid detection from law enforcement. Last year, we arrested Carlos Manuel Cotto Cruz, a.k.a. Wasa, the leader of this violent organization. We continue to work nonstop to put an end to the organization's violence, and today we have dismantled its drug trafficking activities, said W. Stephen Muldrow, U.S. Attorney for the District of Puerto Rico. This operation reflects the excellent collaboration between our state and federal law enforcement partners, coordinated through the OGDET Task Force Program. During the course of the investigation, members of the conspiracy received shipments of narcotics at the coastlines of Puerto Rico from vessels that had traveled from Venezuela and Dominican Republic. Members of the organization transported and distributed kilogram quantities of cocaine from Puerto Rico into the continental United States. Disputes between gang rivals lead to many shootings and murders, including innocent bystanders who are caught in the crossfire, said Rosa Emilia rodriguez Villas, U.S. Attorney for the District of Puerto Rico. I am grateful for the tireless efforts of the investigators and prosecutors who have dismantled Las Farc with today's indictment. We will continue to investigate these violent criminal organizations with our law enforcement counterparts and send a clear message that drugs, firearms, and violence will not be tolerated in our neighborhoods. Crime and Safety New Jersey's hottest heroin ring busted, authorities announce, 15 charged. 15 members of a major drug ring have been charged in a probe of one of New Jersey's largest heroin bust ever. Fifteen members of a major drug ring have been indicted in an ongoing probe of New Jersey's hottest heroin target, authorities announced Tuesday. The ring distributed a combined total of 20 to 30 kilos of heroin and cocaine per month in New Jersey and North Philadelphia, authorities said. The defendants were indicted as part of Operation Inferno, an investigation by the Division of Criminal Justice Gangs and Organized Crime Bureau, the FBI, and several agencies. Among those indicted was the ring's leader, Fernando Diaz Rivera, on charges that included first-degree racketeering. Diaz Rivera was one of the biggest heroin and cocaine suppliers in Camden and North Philadelphia, according to a release from New Jersey Attorney General Christopher S. Perino, who described the ring as the hottest target we could get in a community riddled with heroin abuse. 
The Division of Criminal Justice, Gangs, and Organized Crime Bureau obtained a state grand jury indictment this week charging Diaz Rivera, 34, a.k.a. Gordo, who has homes in Salem City and Salinas, Puerto Rico, according to the release. Fourteen associates were also charged with first-degree racketeering, carrying a sentence of up to 20 years in prison and second-degree conspiracy. The indictment charges Diaz Rivera with leading a narcotics trafficking network over the past several years, a charge that carries a sentence of 25 years without parole to life in prison. It also charges Diaz Rivera and an alleged top deputy, Luis Merced, a.k.a. Mudo, 34, of Philadelphia, with first-degree promoting organized street crime, which carries a sentence of 15 to 30 years in prison, according to the release. Diaz Rivera, Merced, and five others face additional first-degree drug charges. Diaz Rivera remains in custody in Puerto Rico, and Merced remains in custody in Pennsylvania. In the months before the takedown, Diaz Rivera allegedly ran the ring from Puerto Rico, giving orders to other top ring members, particularly Merced. The ring, which has ties to Mexican drug suppliers, allegedly used guns and threats of violence to conduct its business, according to the release. The Attorney General's office seized more than 6 kilos of heroin and about 9 kilos of cocaine during the investigation, intercepting shipments from Chicago and Puerto Rico. The drugs were worth more than $600,000 wholesale, and once cut and packaged for sale on the street, could have commanded up to $2 million or more. Diaz Rivera allegedly was one of the biggest heroin suppliers in Camden and North Philadelphia, which are major distribution hubs for the heroin and fentanyl-laced heroin killing so many people across the region, said Perino. By locking up Diaz Rivera and his associates, we stopped tens of thousands of doses of heroin from reaching the street each week and undoubtedly saved many lives. This indictment will enable us to keep these defendants behind bars for a long time. Two defendants who were arrested last year pleaded guilty before indictments. Diaz Rivera allegedly exercised control over the criminal enterprise using several key members, including Merced. He allegedly gave orders to Merced regarding the operation of the enterprise, and Merced in turn gave orders to lower-level members of the enterprise, according to the release. Merced allegedly was responsible for the enterprise's finances, managing its supply of drugs, dealing with the enterprise's suppliers, and overseeing the enterprise's street-level drug sets, according to the release. These wholesale distributors allegedly brokered deals for kilogram quantities of drugs to be fronted to lower-level members of the enterprise and collected money from drug sales to be funneled back to Diaz Rivera through Merced, according to the release. At Diaz Rivera's direction, Merced allegedly used a portion of the proceeds to reinvest in new product. The rest allegedly was given to Diaz Rivera's girlfriend, Karina Almeida Burgos. Diaz Rivera instructed Almeida Burgos on what to do with the money. Diaz Rivera and Almeida Burgos are charged in the indictment with second-degree money laundering, according to the DCJ. In late September, Madero and Alicia Marinvialiais allegedly drove from Camden to Chicago to pick up 10 kilograms of drugs on behalf of the enterprise. They arrived back in Camden in the early morning hours of October 2nd. The rental car they were driving was stopped by detectives of the Division of Criminal Justice, and approximately 5 kilograms of cocaine and 5 kilograms of heroin were found under the rear seat of the vehicle. The interdiction of major drug traffickers is just one aspect of our comprehensive efforts to address the opiate epidemic, Perino added. We have tightened the regulation and monitoring of opioid prescriptions, and our prescription fraud strike team has criminally charged six doctors with illicitly prescribing opioid pain pills for profit, including two who face first-degree charges of strict liability for drug-induced deaths. Padilla allegedly had an alternative supplier, Jonathan Contreras, who allegedly arranged to send drugs through the mail from a supplier in Puerto Rico to himself and Marcos Mendoza at addresses in Camden. Two packages were intercepted by the Division of Criminal Justice and the U.S. Postal Service, and four kilos of cocaine were seized. 
The individuals being fronted drugs sold them to drug sets in Camden and North Philadelphia on a wholesale level and ran their own drug sets in those locations. These members of the enterprise allegedly included Francisco Venicio Savignon Paulino Asterisk Luis Madero Asterisk Helmer Garcia Asterisk Javier Rosa Romero and Asterisk Victor Matiz the first degree charge of leading a narcotics trafficking network carries a sentence of up to life in state prison with a mandatory minimum term of 25 years without possibility of parole and a fine of up to $750,000. The first degree charge of promoting organized street crime carries a sentence of 15 to 30 years in state prison and a fine of up to $500,000. The other first-degree charges carry a sentence of 10 to 20 years in state prison. The racketeering charge carries a period of parole ineligibility equal to 85% of the sentence imposed. The racketeering charge carries a fine of up to $200,000, while the first-degree narcotics possession and distribution charges carry a fine of up to $500,000. Second-degree charges carry a sentence of 5 to 10 years in state prison and a fine of up to $150,000. And Puerto Rico returned an indictment charging 41 violent gang members from the municipality of San Juan with conspiracy. An indictment is merely an allegation and all defendants are presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in a court of law.